Inveda specializes in decoding the chemistry of life, discovering new medicines for diseases. It's a mission profoundly shaped by the personal experiences of founder and CEO Vishwa Kolaru. Losing his mother to leukemia as a teenager inspired Kolaru to pursue a career in drug discovery and development. The interview will explore Kolaru's education and early career experiences, which would all lead him to the creation of Inveda. My name is Tom Mustin, and this is A Moment with Vishwa Kolaru. Give us a little bit about your background, where, where you were raised and, and how that shaped who you are today. Absolutely. I was born and raised in south of India in a small town called Vishakapatnam. That small town is now certainly a bustling megapolis. But when I was raised, it was a sleepy coastal town and my dad used to run a small pharmacy. And like any good middle class South Indian boy, I wanted to study computer science mm -hmm. and work for Google. <laughs> Those dreams actually ended up being changed quite a bit when my mother got diagnosed with leukemia in the late 90s. And in the late 90s, there was no treatment for chronic myeloid leukemia. And um, she endured um, lots of toxic therapy till one day there was a, a new medicine called imatinib that was developed by a company we may all have heard of called Novartis. Mm -hmm. And when we got access to Novartis, it gave her a new lease of life and probably a few years that we didn't know she had. Uh, and while she won many, many, many battles, ultimately she lost the war. And it was that inspiration that led me to essentially make it my North Star to deliver the same kind of hope that we got from Imatinib to at least one family. Uh, and that's been something that I've pursued ever since. You have, and so your mom's condition changed the direction of your life. Absolutely. And is that what Inveda is all about? So the fundamental problem in the pharmaceutical industry and in discovering medicines today is that things that work in the lab don't work in people. So despite years of investment and millions of dollars, only one in 10 candidate drugs ultimately reaches FDA approval. And therefore, one of the things that Inveda was focused on at the very, very beginning is to say, can we turn the tables on these numbers and actually create medicines that have a better chance of working in people and rely on two pieces of intelligence and wisdom. One, billions of years of evolutionary intelligence that have given us molecules and thousands of years of collective human wisdom where cultures across the world have used uh, the natural world do give us medicines like aspirin or warfarin or metformin or uh, artemisinin, which have saved billions of lives and, and improved dozens of conditions already. So the name Inveda stands for enabling humanity's collective wisdom of the past and creating the knowledge of the future. So we were talking earlier and you were saying we we're just scratching the surface about what we know about chemistry in the world. Correct. About less than 1%. Tell me about that. Yeah. So when we, starting with that core fundamental problem of needing to find molecules that have a better chance of working in human clinical trials, we went back and we asked, what are the most successful medicines of the past? And we realized that nearly half of all FDA-approved small molecules, or in other words, medicines that are taken in pill form, actually come from the natural world. They're molecules that were discovered from the natural world and either modified or used directly there. But what we also realized at the same time is that the sum total of humanity's knowledge of the natural world is limited to about 300,000 compounds. And that, we estimate, is less than a small fraction of 1%. We know today more about the genes of random viruses that we can dig up from the bottom of polar ice caps than the molecules flowing through your blood right now. Wow. So you've all been around since 2019. What are some of the big successes you've had in terms of dealing with people with illness or disease? Yeah, so on average in our industry, it takes companies about six years to bring one medicine to patients. Over the last five years, and five years ago in 2019, Enveda was an idea, an old laptop, and me in a small two-bedroom apartment in Florida <laughs> with no technology or no IP. So we built that technology to actually bring the thesis to life used it to create candidate medicines uh, and advanced those candidate medicines to where today we have about six that are ready to go into clinical trials with the first two that will be going in this year and hopefully two 
early part of next year and more to come after. Well, that, that is so exciting. So let's talk about, I'm going to ask you to get out your crystal ball here. Yeah. Let's talk about the future. Five years from now, where do you see Invading? In the next five years, we expect to have, you know, a couple of dozen medicines um, that are in clinical trials as we are constantly improving the technology that has given us these first half a dozen medicines. So lots of new, exciting medicines that are showing you know, promise and promise at rates that are much, much better than industry average. Um, and with respect to the technology, today it takes thousands of dollars and weeks just to understand one single molecule that is going through Tom's blood that science yes. has not known before. And five years from now, we hope that we will be at a position where we can take a vial of your blood or a swig of the beer that you drink or an extract of the plant in your garden and in a few hours tell you what all the thousands of the molecules are that are in it and what they might do. So we're bringing the natural world using our technology into the modern scientific laboratory to create and help discover new medicines that will be better, faster, hopefully one day cheaper, um, and beyond. The knowledge that we would have gained in doing so can be expanded to say, okay, maybe we can understand the chemistry of health and disease in the human body. Maybe we can understand you know, w how to make food more nutritious. Uh, perhaps we can actually create a new generation of agrochemicals that don't kill the honeybees because they're derived from plants that have spent 400 million years figuring out how to mm -hmm. spare the pollinators while fighting off the pests that try to wow. infect them. And when you think back to the 2019, when you were in your apartment in Florida, yeah. and where you are now, what, what are you most proud of? So if you think uh, about the odds that you know, someone uh, that was of my background relative to the deeply experienced entrepreneurs and CEOs in the biotech industry, it's that started without core intellectual property, which is usually what a biotech company is founded on, and a sum total of $55,000. The odds that we would be sitting here today in a beautiful office with over 200 employees and hundreds of millions of dollars raised for our cause are extremely low. Well, so inspiring. What are the big changes you see coming to the industry in the next couple of years? Yeah, I think for the uh, biopharma industry today, this marriage of the life sciences with computer science and data is going to be the defining theme of at least this half of the century, which means that we can create data about life systems at a resolution that has not been possible before. We can interpret that data using algorithms called neural networks that are, that are modeled after the human brain but are not limited by limited attention or limited memory and, and make sense of that and lastly, apply it. So once we understand more, how can we actually use those insights to drive, drive the life sciences forward, create better medicines, create better diagnostics, create better tools. But you're encouraged about where we're going here. Though. Absolutely, and, and I think we'll look back um, just as we look back now to the era that we didn't have antibiotics mm -hmm. and say, wow, we've come a long way. I think if we look back from 2124 uh, to 2024, the life sciences and our ability to understand the world, respect the world, hopefully, and then manipulate the world to our and, and nature's benefit will be unprecedented. So Vishwa, this is the whole place is so impressive. What are we looking at right here? What we're looking at is actually one of the world's most advanced pieces of hardware called a mass spectrometer. And as the name suggests, a mass spectrometer measures mass with extremely high resolution, and it can do so thousands of molecules at a time, up to the sixth decimal point for like an atomic mass unit. Unbelievable. And how did you all come to know this? I mean, how, where did this knowledge come from? A lot of this knowledge came from reading the work of our scientific co-founder, Peter Dorstein, who's one of the world's leading experts in this field of mass spectrometry and metabolomics. Wow, it's, it's amazing. And to see it come to fruition, has gotta be very gratifying for you. Absolutely. In fact, the instruments that we have here, while they're made by you know, one of the few advanced scientific instrument manufacturers, we've already pushed the hardware to its limit. Mm -hmm. um, so we have a very friendly relationship with them where they constantly give us the next iteration of what they're working on, and we help push it even further in sort of a research scale. Wow. 
So what is it about Invada that makes it so inspiring to work here for your employees? You know, I think there's, it's the same thing that inspires people to work at all iconic companies. And that is really smart people like working on challenging problems that push humanity forward, that push the boundaries of both possibility and knowledge. And that is inherently exciting to a number of people that believe that that's how their life is best spent. Uh, and they're in love with their craft and their art, and they want to apply it towards that problem. I think you've inspired all of us, Peace Plus. So thank you so much. It's an honor to meet you. Likewise. Thank you.